Hey guys, it's Lori with LM's Crafty Creations and I'm here with a project share. This is an explosion box and I created it using the Echo Park Animal Safari Collection, which is so cute. Um, it is a design team project for CountryCraftCreations.com and it doesn't look like much on the top, but I do have, um, I didn't have time to finish the top. I really want to do like a scene here, maybe do some animals at the top and decorate it a bit, but I ran out of time. So here are the sides. I did the cut apart on the side. I actually wanted to do some like leopard print or something, animal print ribbon here, and I haven't had time to do that either. So it's um, it's mostly finished. <laughs> and then here is the side. So really, really cute. I loved the cut aparts here. Um, I've already made a project using this collection, um, but this was just um, the perfect paper to use for this. So obviously you take the box off, the t lid off, and this is the inside. I'm gonna have to zoom out at least one time, I think. But I hate I'm not going to do that. I'm going to zoom in actually and just move it around for you. So just like the explosion box before, this is actually the um, the base that I created when I did the tutorial for the last one. Um, let me actually flip it around because my little tiger's were the wrong way. Um, but I did a couple things a little bit different. So these two sides mirror each other as well as these two sides. Um, in the middle I have just um, a chipboard sticker with the tiger and then again the same fold out that we did for um, the Stampin' Up! explosion box. So I will link the tutorial in the description box down below. Please be sure to, to check that out. So on this side I did um, to keep all of my flaps closed this time, I did a belly band and then I added this little booklet and then I added stickers on each side that I matted on cardstock. So these will hold the two by three photos. And then inside here, I did these accordion folds that you could put photos on. So they're plain and that's what's in each pocket. So I won't pull them all out, but that is that. And then this flips up and here I have the beautiful butterfly paper with the black seam binding. And then I did the animal print acetate here. And then inside I did the same thing, added a cut apart and added, I made a little booklet out of it. For photos or journaling, whatever you like. That's why I added the plain paper this time because that way you can journal and then flip it up and then here the cut aparts like I mentioned in my last video for this collection they were pretty um, like the words were dark on the dark background you couldn't see them very well I didn't finish going over this as you can see I only went over this once and these I went over multiple times um, just to make it pop so um, you could do that if you have this collection and you think it's too dark go over it with like a white uh, like a white out pen or just a white gel pen will work. I think I, mine was a white paint pen. And then I just have um, cut aparts in here. And then this top one is a larger one. This explosion box was a lot funner to do than the other one that I did previously just because it had so many cut aparts and extra um, things like these chipboard stickers. And then on the top here on the bottom flap I just have a place for a photo I didn't add the um, we did the waterfall in the last video I didn't add that I just added some seam binding here and then in the pocket there is a booklet and is this this one flips up this way so I just added some strips of paper so you could add your photos and it will still be decorated let me get that back in there and let's flip it around and look at the rest. So just going to keep going this way. So again, I have the sticker, the booklet, and then the booklet inside. And then I have this paper with some seam binding. The stacked pocket is on this side this time. I added this cute chipboard sticker with a train. And then again, I just added all of these cut aparts. Cute. And then it flips up 
and then again you have the acetate pocket with the booklet inside. This one says day at the zoo. And then here I have a couple of chipboard stickers, a seam binding bow, there's a booklet in this pocket. And this one I actually did backwards on accident, <laughs> so it flips open this way. And there's a couple stickers down here, and I actually put the photo mats in this one. So you could see what that would look like. And then in here, again, is the other booklet. And then we'll flip it around again. So here again, the same thing, the butterflies. So this is like the mirror of the other side you've already seen. I love the cut apart, don't feed the animals. And then on this side, I just did these flags here. And then again, cut aparts, the cut aparts in this collection were cute because you know that's like one of my favorite things of any collection is the cut aparts. And then again, this one just looks plain. Whoops. And then the booklet on the inside of here has the cute train and just room for photos on the inside. And again, uh, you can use your 6x6 paper pads on here to make, to mat this. Um, I did notice that when I used the 12x12 12 12 paper, I did not use near as much as I thought. So you could probably get away with using just one paper collection to make an explosion box if you have the 12x12. 12 12. So there's our accordion folder again. And I've done the, the um, chipboard stickers here and a little space for photo here. Here are the cut aparts. And again, this one, I actually went over it several times with that white gel marker and it just really looked a lot better. So remember that if you could get this collection. This, here's the booklet with the elephant. I love the elephant, same on the inside made those in the video as well and then you have a little chipboard sticker here and then we're getting to our final booklets this one flips up and I decorated this one a little bit more um, so you have your place for a photo your little stickers and then on the inside pocket here's the last one of these and it lifts up and again just stickers and strips of paper to accent your photos. And that is it. So I think it turned out really, really cute. Like I said, I would really like to do up the lid of the box in more of a zoo kind of theme. I just didn't get to it in time. But this collection is gorgeous and I think that this project was really perfect for the collection. So Again, I will link the tutorial in the description box down below so you can check it out if you're interested in making one of these. And so that's it. There is my Echo Park Animal Safari Explosion Box. Thanks for watching.